Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a muslet and a muslet is uh, the iron cap that's on a champagne uh, bottle to hold down the cork. Okay, now we press 7 and we're going to add a mesh circle and we choose a 31. Okay, now we go in to edit mode and we're going to select this, we leave these two open and then we're going to select Sorry, edge selection. Select that one and select that one. Same on the other side, just one, two, leave open. Number, th oh, sorry, number three and number four. Just one, two, three, four. Same on the other side. One, two, three. Leave one open. Not that one, that one. One, two, up, like that. So now we're going to subdivide them. So we subdivided these. You see? You select vertices, you see it much better. Like that, see, you see it. And now we're going to uh, select these two. This is the, the smaller, the, the, the smallest one. This, this is the long one. This is also the long one. As we take the both long ones on this side, these are the long ones. Select the long ones. Should, holding down the shift button, of course. Select the long ones. And on this side, we select the long ones. Now we're going to press S to go to the center and we're moving it just like that. Not too much. Okay. So if this is looking okay for you, then we're pressing A. Second time we need to select everything and we're going to move it up in Z direction. So extrude, pressing E, Z to extrude in Z direction. Like that. Left mouse click. And now we're pressing S to go to the center. and. Not too much, something like this, I think. Okay, yeah, that's more look likely. And now we're going to add a second circle, circle again with the same vertices. Important, uh, we're going to press S and we're going to scale it down. This will be the middle of it, like that, and scaling down. So, and now we bring it up and we bring it up approximately in the same height it's it's rather difficult i know if you knew how much you lifted the other one it's not a problem no this is looking okay and now we start by adding the material in between and now we do that if you've seen already one of my uh, earlier tutorials you know what to do if you don't know uh, we're going to select vertice right click on that one Shift right click on that one, shift right click on that one, shift right click on that one, and pressing F. This is a special one, so we're going to select right click, shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, F, right click, shift right click, shift right click, F, and the same on the other side. That's right, shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, F, right click, shift right click, shift right click, F, and so on. We go the whole we make the whole turn. Let's shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, F, shift right, uh, right click, shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, F. And we're going to do that with all these pieces. If you are very fast, pay attention. I'm going to show what's happening if you do it wrong. Uh, I'm going to, for instance, you have wrong selectors, and this and these are still on. And you, you did like that, and you say F R. No problem. Go to faces, select that face, delete the face. But if you delete the face, you will lose the vertices. Only delete the face. And now reselect. Sorry, the edges. This and this on these two shouldn't be there. Delete and delete edges. You do it another way, you will lose that edge. And some other, and that this this is not good. Go vertice again, reselect, um, F, select, and if you're sure, press F. Always select first, and then shift select. Select shift 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 F. Select shift shift F. Uh, I'm stopping the video to go to the last one, and then we come back. Hi, I'm back. Uh, if everything go or went well, 
you, you end up with something like this. Okay, now we're going to uh, add the circle and we're approximately ready. To uh, go to edge selection, select that one, alt, select that one. And we're going to lift or extrude in Z direction now. We're going to angle it a little bit. E, Z. And we're going to move it up something like this. Pressing S because it is a little conically to the center. Okay, and we now you have two possibilities. If you press F, you cannot lift the middle uh, point, and I want that. So um, I'm going to back to E S, and we're going to the center, not so far, somewhere over there. Left mouse click Alt M at center, and this is done. Now we're going to lift the center, and we're going to switch to vertices. We select the vertex right-clicking on it and we're going to lift it a little bit like that now we go to <coughs> modifier tool modifier and we're going to uh, solidity where we're going to put some thickness to the material and i want the material thickness in the inside so i switch from minus one to plus one and we want a thickness of let's say for instance the material is around two to fifty yeah, to fifty millimeters thick so this is looking good. Uh, now we're going to add another uh, modifier, and the other modifier will be subdivision surface, where we go up to 4. We go to optimize the display. And what we see now is that Theo thinks that this is much too round, and this radius is too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Control R. Control R. And I want one over here. And you have two possibilities. We're going to first make this one shorter. So I want a radius, but not that much, like this. And I want the other, this is too big, so I want less radius over here. So I put in another R, like that. And we're going to lift it a little bit, just like that. Yeah, something like this. Okay, this should look, look nice. Okay. I think it's done. So we're going for object. And we're going to add the material. We're going to say, okay, I want that part to be a silver look or having a silver look. Uh, okay, we're leaving it this way. I'm going to make it a little more shiny. And this we're going to add just, just, just a little bit yellow thing to it. And uh, we're going to increase the intensity a little bit. Okay. Um, have a look for the camera. So we press zero on the numeric keyboard. And if you see, you, you cannot do anything. Why? Press N. Go to lock the camera view and scroll up and down until you have what you want. Uh, how do I do that? I press in the middle mouse key the middle and uh, roll to me no, it's more like that I think yeah I want it more. you can choose the angle you want uh, I'm leaving it to that okay if you're done unlock the camera pressing zero if your uh, mouse is on the screen press zero and you come back uh, the camera is over there where is my light we're going to search for the light. Okay, there is a light. I think one will be enough. I'm going to point it just above. And this is rather difficult now without any. I'm going not to go very th narrow, I'm going to just to have a quick look. And yeah, okay, it's. I'm going to add another one. I want no shadows so I'm going to put this one over here shift D to put one over there I'm going to put a bit more and a bit more to the camera this way yeah I think we're already there now we're going to um, do two things first of all we're going to choose 
perfect uh, file format I want. I uh, choose the correct uh, file I want, directory I want, of course. Uh, we go to the circle. And we're going to call it double click on it and we're going to call it select it's the metal uh, cap above the cork on the champagne or a wine bottle but normally it's on champagne and champagne we go to the toolbox uh, where we're going to say okay the thickness is okay i leave it i leave also that one we go to object mode where we're going to smoothness and we're going to render if and it should look like this it shines well, a bit too much for me. Going to go back. Put these. Sorry. Going to put the lights a little higher. Right, you can play around with the light. You can play around with. See, the material is not good. Also, I'll lift it a little bit because I put in too much shyness. I think just a little less and redo it you can give it an another color if you want I mean, it's depending on what you want so please if you like my channel please subscribe thank you for watching